When a blue alert goes out, Sheriff Grady Judd knows one of their own is in trouble. Well, it's immediately all hands on deck because something terrible has happened to a law enforcement officer and the suspect's not in custody. Late Tuesday night, cell phone alarms went off across Florida. 33-year-old Gregory Medema had shot Taylor County Deputy Troy Anderson during a traffic stop, critically injuring him with wounds to his jaw, neck, and hand. Just a routine traffic stop. We don't know if it was speeding. We don't know exactly. It never... He never got that part dispatched back before. Medema, a registered sex offender, had a last known address in Lee County. He lived in Sarasota in 2019. Because it was possible he'd travel home, roadblocks were set up south of the Big Bend. All the way down to South Florida, where uh, this suspect uh, could have possibly been. Um, the 10 hour manhunt ended when Medema was killed Wednesday morning. Investigators say he tried breaking into a home in Dixie County and got into a shootout with the armed homeowner. Fingerprints tied Medema to both crimes. When you break into a house of a stranger and you're shot, shot and killed, that's on you. The homeowner did exactly what he should have done. And that's protect himself, his family, and his home. This is the fourth ever Florida Blue Alert issued since it was established in 2011. The Polk County Sheriff's Office has never needed to utilize it. They hope they never do. If you'll shoot at a law enforcement officer, an armed law enforcement officer, or you'll try to kill them, no one is safe. I truly believe that uh, he had an evil mindset, and uh, his thought process was to um, kill and destroy innocent people. And, and unfortunately, he did not uh, succeed in that. The deputy Anderson is stable and will undergo reconstructive surgery. He is progressing in the right direction, but the sheriff is just asking everyone to continue their prayers. Now, tonight, there are still a lot of unanswered questions. When deputies got to Medina at the home when, when he was dead this morning, he was surrounded by guns. So they want to find out how a convicted felon got his hands on all of those guns, what his timeline was between Lee County and Taylor County, and if he was possibly working with anyone else. Mm, okay, Cynthia. a lot more to find out for sure. Thank you, Haley. Mm -hmm.